Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yam. And with the launch of the full Raptor Lake family, that's the 13th gen Intel Core processors for both mobile and desktop, we're here at CS 2023 with Digital Storm to check out what they have that pack our powerful processors. Now we're gonna start from small, medium, large to see what they have. Tell me more about that is Ernest from Digital Storm. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, hi Marcus, thanks for having me. Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, so I love computers. I've been playing video games and building my own computer since I can remember. And getting this job here is like a dream come true. Like I get to play with tech, I build computers, everything's great. Fantastic, you actually go hands on yeah. with, with, yeah. with the tech. I was great. the one who actually put this one together with right. a few other people. So this kind of caught my eye right away when I came in here because it's so small, but I know that, you know, Intel had a part to play in that. Um, I'm going to spoil it for something. Like this one has a lot of NUC DNA yeah. in it. So tell me, tell me more about that. Uh, so this is the, what is it, Raptor Canyon NUC, so extreme. So this is a 13900K in there. Uh, we took what you guys gave us and we built a chassis around it. So it's extremely small. We got a full size SFX power supply. Uh, 240 AIO and then another GPU in the back. So everything is super small, powerful, it's portable too, so it's great. I have a lot of love for Raptor Canyon, again, the 13900K. I'm wearing 13900K here with the uh, AP cores and 16E cores, 24 cores, 32 threads, uh, really great. Now, again, I love the Raptor Canyon NUC, uh, air-cooled, great design by our engineering team, but you guys took it another direction. That's liquid cooled. So tell me, how did, how did you adapt liquid cooling for a design that we made for air cooling? Uh, yeah, so you guys actually gave us the perfect bracket. So we didn't really have to do much there. We just put some posts in and then we screwed in a normal Intel GPU or CPU uh, water block and then we went from there. You see the hardline tubes that we did and that's pretty much it. It's not too complicated, it's just a lot of perfect planning because in this small size, you don't have a lot of space to work with. Yeah, speaking with those who are involved in the collaboration between, between Intel and Digital Storm, uh, we knew that there was an option to actually use the much smaller, more compact yeah. uh, element from 12th Gen Alder Lake uh, from Dragon Canyon, which we've seen some, some of our other partners do, putting, putting uh, that, that, uh, that Alder Lake knuck in there. But you guys went the extra mile going with a larger Raptor, yeah. Raptor Canyon mm -hmm. uh, element. Why, why make it harder on yourselves? Like, why, why go with Raptor? Well, uh, the main thing is we don't want to be like anyone else, right? Other people have taken the 12th gen NUC and put it inside a computer. We don't want to do that. We wanted to make the 13th gen your computer. And with this, we set ourselves apart from anyone else right now. This is the only one. Hey, I, I, can, I applaud your ingenuity and just taking our technology and really making it your own uh, in, a, in a great product. Now tell me about uh, other discrete options. Obviously, the, the thing I love about these big gaming NUCs is that you can put full-length discrete graphics. So, yeah. so tell, tell me about the graphics in here. Uh, so this one is, it has a 3080. Um, we're looking at maybe possibly a 4080 in the future, but for now, this is just where we're working with. Um, you could do any sort of card under that. We're looking almost everything. So entirely everything is going to be water-cooled. We're not going to offer any air cooling for this because size just wouldn't allow it. I, I, I love the form factor. Great. Um, yeah. Uh, do you, you want to tell us anything about like the external or the side? I see you got you know a window on the other side too. To uh, see. Yeah, I could flip it around for you guys. It's a little fragile, but here we go. So this side is just pure GPU. Um, <laughs> there's not much else yeah. to look at here besides you know, so full fluid full fluid. full water cooling. Yeah, is it? Yep. Okay, great. Well, that's small. You want to move over to medium? yeah? Let's do it. All right. So this one is our, our Lumos. It's a newly refreshed case. We got ten fans in here and. The main reason why we're doing this is, you know, components are getting hotter and hotter and we want to be able to cool these. And with all these fans, you're definitely going to be able to do that. I see, you know, it's the same kind of clean design mm -hmm. color scheme that you have on there. Um, what, what, other, what other design elements do you decide to, to put in here now that you've got more, more space to play with other than, I see a ton of fans. Uh, we just wanted to do high airflow. So this front slats over here, it's a design language that you'll see across almost all of our new cases right now. Um, other than that is we just wanted to make sure that this is compatible for almost every single person. You know, whatever GPU you want in there, you can fit. You know, we can support almost everything. And this is all built to order. Yes, for you guys. correct. And, um, yeah, and I understand that pretty much everything we're going to see today is, is new for 2023. Yeah. Um, is there, what, are, what are some new features introduced with, with this, with this 
Cassie, uh, so this one, one is right now we have a distribution block in here. It has a DDC, but we're looking to swap that to a D5. So we're looking to add distribution blocks across to our lower, smaller cases as well, because that's something we haven't done before. Um, other than that, it's like I said, it's just the cooling that we wanted to be prepared for. So this can hold almost, I believe it's two 360 rads plus a 240. So that's a lot of radiator space for whatever you need. So feasibly, you could do dual 4090s or you know whatever GPU you want. Is that a configuration you guys will be supporting? Uh, the possibly. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe on the next one. Now that we've done a medium, we're gonna go yeah. with like a yeah. large one. So we're now here at large. This is the Aventum, um, but again, new this year. Yes. So this is a refresh of our Aventum X. So originally, the Aventum X had full tempered glass both sides um but you know with all these newer products that are hotter and hotter we decided to go more airflow down here so down here is a 560 i believe radiator and then on the other side we have a 280 and on the top we have a 420 so this is a lot of radiators it can cool plenty do, do, do you think are you challenging the, the rest of the industry to make something that can yeah that can... why not i mean <laughs> right now we have the airflow to keep up. And then once we can't, then we'll work again and try to design something newer. Uh, what else is, is, is that, is cooling the main, the main refresh that you've done for, for this generation? Or uh, yeah, so not only that, um, we removed the hard drive bays because we wanted to have dual D5 pumps for redundancy. Did um, you relocate them or are you just afraid that people are just using? No, so originally it was located right here. And uh, after removing the hard drive bays, we opened up a lot of space. So we decided to go with two pumps. And right now for people, so, so hard drive basic, mm -hmm. you're thinking that people are just going to run NVMe. Yeah, NVMe or quite possibly, we're thinking about maybe 2.5 inch, but for now, just NVMe. Okay. Uh, I got to say, it always catches my eye when like things just don't look like I normally see them. The yep. board's on this side, it's upside down. Got to read that. Is that 29 or 62? That's a 29. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you. This is a, a, a great demo. Got to say, um, love all this stuff from small, medium, large. That spark is incredible. Someday I want to see how many sparks you can fit inside <laughs> inside the Aventum. Uh, last thing, when are they going to be available? Uh, so the Aventum and the Lumos are going to be available possibly late quarter one. Um, and then the spark, we're looking at Q2. Great, looking forward to yeah. seeing all of them. Yeah, well, thank you. Ernest, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Yeah.